Hey guys, Cruel Blind Wave. I'm Eric. I'm Aaron. Aaron, mm -hmm. have you seen the movie we're about to watch? No. Mess it up. <laughs> <laughs> we're here to check out Nope from Jordan Peele. Uh, mm -hmm. This was voted over at patreon.com slash blind wave. And Aaron, we're smack in the middle of October. Yes. Unless you're watching this early on Patreon, where you can get movies four weeks early. Yeah. And if people are not watching it in October, they're watching it a month ago. They're, that's true. Some people are. So, if you want to see it earlier, go there. But if you want to watch it in October, just hold off and wait, I guess. Yeah, so we, uh, we're we starting our month off. We did with Tucker and Dale last week. Mm. This week we got Nope. We yes. have some other scary stuff coming this uh, this month. But most of all, Scream Stream over at twitch.tv slash blindwave. We're playing a lot of horror-based games uh. and having a lot of fun doing it. So make sure you come over there. Link's down in the description as well. Uh, you know anything about this movie? We saw a trailer. <sighs> we did see a trailer. Um... Not really. It's like on a ranch. Like aliens, right? Um, it, 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 there was aliens. alien feelings to yeah. it. There was actually alien, like, there was like a, I don't know, like a booth that would sound like alien shit. Like alien merch. Yeah. Like you would in, uh, what's that place that the aliens are? Space? No. We're all in space. Uh, what's the name of the place where they crashed and they were going to nar to run into the Air 51? Roswell. Well, do you want Roswell, New Mexico, or do you yeah. want Area 51? I don't know. I, I had to say Area 51, and then I remembered Roswell. I know it doesn't make sense, but yeah. sometimes... Those are different places. Great thoughts don't. <laughs> um, yeah, so I really have no preamble. I just want to no. see what this movie's about. Yeah, me too. Um, I mean, I liked uh, Get Out, mm. and uh, Us was also pretty good. Yeah. So I'm curious to see what what they have for the next like yeah. version here. And if you're version? curious to see what we have for this movie... Uh, there's also over at Patreon we have full length available, so you can watch the entire thing along with us. We're watching this off Amazon. Yes. All right. Very true. Now, ready, then? are you ready? Nope. Nope. <laughs> That's blood. And they're on a TV set. Uh, what? His uh, monkey kill people? Uh, Aaron. Chimps are not to be fucked with. Monkey paw. Oh, man. So he ate him or something? Dude. Are the people in the audience over there dead? Is that what that is? They ran. Dead people? There are dead people, but most of them just ran and left their jackets. It says applause. Yeah. Oh, that's so creepy. He's looking right at us. Did you ever see uh, Shockma? No. But I saw that one lady get her face ripped off by a chimp. On live television. Gotta respect wild animals, Aaron. Like, kind of like John Travolta did? He ripped off a lady's face? Oh, we... Oh! Well, I really screwed up that one, didn't I? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Uh, that was weird. Chimp. Uh, I don't know what to write. I don't know what to write. Uh... Gordy. I'm guessing the chimp is Gordy. No, I think it was a kid. Oh. He was supposed to get a good gift, but he I shot a rocket were... in his face. I don't know. Hey, I forgot. There's just kind of like a farm thing to this too, right? Mm -hmm. I know farm yeah. stuff. You know horror stuff. I it know was... farm stuff. This is going to be the best reaction of all time. I know what? Horror things. You're good horror. at horror. 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 Yeah. Yeah. Ooh. Oh, he's dying. No. This is animal yeah. husbandry, Aaron. If they had this with the monkey in the beginning, this wouldn't... That wouldn't no. Have, that wouldn't have happened. The horse died. They're training it. He said bang. <laughs> I mean, we really put on a show? Yeah. You know they gotta bring us back for the season. They're training the animal for a movie. Mm -hmm. That's why it was well, doing that. You sure as hell ain't gotta sell no more horses. Did they train the ape? So just execute. Hey. Dang. We ain't got no more problems. Why not? This is Captain Anderson. Oh, that's cute, David. Yeah. There it is. You good? What's that noise? Damn it. Something's what causing interference. The fuck? Keith! Is something falling from the sky? Where is he? Okay, he's okay. That's what we took him. Uh oh. Shit. Uh oh. I think something hit him and killed him. Whatever's falling from the sky. Hit him, but metal. not the horse. God damn it. You give me Keith David, you take him away immediately. Jordan Peele. Okay. 
Oh, oh geez. Dude, get some pressure. I'm like lay him in your lap and like hold his head so it doesn't bleed so much. What was that? Just like, did it pick something up and stuff was falling or something? I don't, I don't know. It's, like it was metally. Hit him in the eye? Reapers. Shepard's gonna be pissed. I don't understand half the thing you're saying. Yeah, I don't need you to. <laughs> what is it? Like a coin? It is! A nickel fell through his head? Aw, oh, man. A key. It's a key in the horse. I don't like seeing animals hurt. I don't like seeing David hurt. I don't like this. Nope. Mm. No. And there was like a woman screaming? Yeah, it did sound like a scream up in the clouds, which was quite terrifying. <laughs> If that happened to me, I just would have looked up and been like, I don't know, I can't tell what direction, so I wouldn't be looking up. I'd be looking around, you know? You'd yeah. be like John Travolta. Yeah. Some deaf in one here. Yeah. It's half my debt. What is this? What are we looking at? Did I miss something? Motherfucker, I don't know. I don't think I missed anything. Uh, there's a chimp that ate people's faces. Uh, the horse was trained for a movie. Uh, they they don't need to sell any more horses if they can make them. Oh, that's the film. That's the very first piece of film ever made. That horse running in film history. I think we talked about that in the trailer, didn't we? I think it's looped. Yeah, this is the first like frame per second image ever made. Whoa, look at this. Mm. Hey, 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 go. Okay. Yeah, but don't go behind the horse, you fucking idiot. He died. Oh man, he died? He had his name in the open credits and he's dead. Hello! How y'all doing? Well, she's the showman. My name is Emerald, that's OJ, and we are your animal wranglers today with Haywood Hollywood Horse. But does anybody know the name of the black jockey that rode the horse? No. You sounded like Mike Ermintrout. He did. <laughs> no record. Oh. Is OJ shy or standoffish? I don't know. He seemed okay with his dad. Yeah. He's still kind of quiet with his dad, though. Hey, 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 and the chimp doesn't understand. It's not like it knows it did something bad. Yeah, you're just hungry. No, it, it, it's, huh? it's threatened. <laughs> it doesn't eat your face. <laughs> it looks like he ate his face. Something's face. No. You said he ripped off a girl's face, so. It does, but chimps are primates. They recognize your face, your hands, your balls. Those are all things you want to keep. They don't recognize my balls. Oh, they recognize your not balls. Not my balls. Oh, no man. Chimp my balls, that man. chimp would be like, I know those. Yeah, you didn't have only things. Circle J. Circle J. I think it's the name of the brand, right? Circle Jerk? I guess, but then I just go to Circle Jerk. I'm like, you should change your name. It's astounding how quickly you go. Like, I don't think of that with Circle K. <laughs> you know? I guess. You know what? You're right. Astounding, huh? Astounding. Right. I'm astounded. Astounding. What's down there? Oh, oh he did, takes a picture? She got hit in the picture. <laughs> she must not have known what it was. And no. Kids, that looks like holes, doesn't it? Yeah, it does. Digging up okay. them holes. Thanks for coming. Yeah, yeah okay. Hey, I forgot. Hey, it's Glenn. I, yeah, I forgot he was in it. So, uh, you literally the Asian kid's picture? No, it's okay. Yeah, I was, uh, I was a little Jew. You were literally my favorite. Little what? Little juke. Juke? That's why it's called Juke Jungle or whatever they called it yes, earlier. Of course. Yeah. yeah. Actually, oh, Aaron. The offer I made your dad was so Gordy. Well, Jeff, well, 
Yeah, my pops told me about this show. The monkey went crazy or some shit. You know, I used to charge a fee for this. Oh, what? There's a door. Mm. He's trying to talk business and she's distracting everything. That's the first exploding fist bone. What? Hmm. Really? Y'all came up with that? One day, we were shooting an episode in season two entitled uh, Gordy's Birthday. Season two. So you have to have chimps when they're young, not when they're older. Oh. Mm -hmm. This Dutch couple paid me 50K to come in here and spend the night. <laughs> Had a mask. That's crazy. And spend oh. the night. Mm hmm. Oh. So what happened? Is that the girl's shoe? You haven't seen the bad Gordy sketch on us, I know? I mean, I pretty much nailed it better than I could. No? Saturday Night Live. Daryl Hammond as Tom. Anna Gosteyer as Phyllis. Sherry O'Terry as Mary Jo Elliott. Scott Wolf is the host he's made. But of course, the star of the sketch is Chris Goddamn Catan. Chris Catan! <laughs> and he is a force of nature. He is killing on that stage. Oh. Okay, so he's internal internalized his trauma about this. Yeah. Like he has to do it from an SNL sketch. Yeah, you know? sure. Because the real he shit. He can't tell the real stuff. Yeah, that's interesting. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and he's trying to sell still, too, you know? I feel, that's what I feel like. Man. What the fuck does that have to do with aliens? I don't, I don't know. I don't know how it's tied in. Any. I mean, I'm assuming aliens, but it could just be a <coughs> random shit. They just think they're aliens. I mean, it's not. Are aliens going to do this to us? Put, them, put, put us on their TV show? I was just talking about therapists about this not too long ago. Therapists? Yes. I fuck one on occasion sometimes. <laughs> I was telling her that. The Scorpion King at you. Uh, it was in the West. There's a horse for the Scorpion King. That's crazy. That was the first job. It wasn't much fun. That's cool. Ended up using camels anyway. Ah, oh, man. <laughs> Ghost. Something fucking with the horses. Wow. This might be some of the best day for night I've ever seen. I think. Listen, I, I might be wrong. I don't know. It's so good. It's so good. I'm doubting myself. I would just pretend it's nice. Right. Don't worry about it. Okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can't help it. <laughs> it's so bright. The moon is so bright, Aaron. It might just be bright moon. You might. It might be right. Why is he out there? Who put him there? What was the name of the horse? Ghost. in the morning and my dad's like all the cows are out let's go oh god how'd they get out they get out fences go down someone leaves the gate open and you like make a better fence or electrify it or you something. have to go out in the middle of the night and just chase cows for hours my grandpa will be on a four wheeler just chase them because <laughs> he couldn't run anymore Her dance was like slowing down and she was dancing. Huh. So it like shrieked by her and like the I guess powered down and powered back up. Uh what was that? Couldn't tell if it was like a contrail or if it was an actual object. Photographic evidence of UFOs and shit. 100K. And that's just what I saw on the first go. Hmm. Okay. Actually, do you have a card for us? No, thank you. 
Okay, would you like one? No, I never want a card. Ever? Never. I better pay extra money and I get a card. You should be fine. But yeah, it just affect the power and the battery shit too, like cell phones. Okay. Alright, cell phones, they don't just. Too condescending. Right? Well, I mean, he's right. I know. Is this how you were when you worked at a. Uh, right? Radio Shack? I was right, yeah. No, I mean, you haven't got people in there that would like. Okay, or maybe you're a Not be right. I have no idea. Yeah. No. Well, I saw online a yellow, red, white cable went to HDMI. It's like, those aren't real. It's a scam. It's a scam. <laughs> there's, there's no cable that will actually do that. Well, they got the install. Ah! Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa. Look, man. Fuck. Don't do that. Don't you? Sorry, man. Sorry if I was like a little shut down this morning. Yeah, Why you scream? I wasn't like that at Radio Shack. Yeah. Is this gonna take longer than an hour? Oh shit, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and pop out. You I gotta go to the store and get some. Don't worry about it. You need anything? She's leaving? Yeah. She's his buffer too. He doesn't only he likes to be around people. Her name was uh Rebecca Diaz. She booked a pilot on the CW. <laughs> yeah, fucking love me. I wonder who she's playing. Yeah, fucking CW. Fucking CW. You're not even calling me up those anymore. Yeah, they have a new acronym now. It's fucking UAP. Yeah. I know, didn't I identify the aerial fucking phenomenon. Yeah, I think so. Remember when they declassified all that UFO footage a couple years ago? Yeah. Yeah. Well, people started paying attention. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
the rhythm of the sprinkler is set so cool. So did something flip the switch? Or is it controlling electricity somehow? Whoa, what? 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 It's moving. Where? It, that right there, whatever that is. What is that? Wasn't it there a second ago too? I don't know. Can you just walk right next to it? What the fuck? It's like a little guy. You wanna go, motherfucker? Let's go, get him! Take a picture, take a picture. Okay, that's someone fucking with them, right? What the fuck? Nope. 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 That's, that's the name of the movie. Yeah. Oh what shit. What is it, man? Where'd he go? Look behind you. Put your back to a wall, man. Ah! 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 Oh, shit. Just slowly tilting out. The fuck? Uh, oh, look. Dude, you gotta get my phone. I got two. Oh, shit. Was on. What the fuck? Oh, no. Okay, it's a kid. <laughs> oh, I beat the fuck out of these kids. Oh, Don't mess up your claim. It's the fucking the people f Jupe? Did Jupe do this? The park kids. Park kids? Man, they let Clover out, man. Hey, what? They trying to prank Haywood? It's on! It is on! It's fucking hell. <laughs> I'm so stressed out, man. Okay, so that was a good scene. Kids. Dude, where did they get this mask? Was scary. They were pretty creepy. Wait, what? What's going on here? Fucking juke. Kids. Are aliens gonna show up here? <sighs> or is he, gonna, is he gonna monitor the camera? Is that an alien wear laptop? Uh, what that is? Or is razor. that Razor? Ah, that was gonna be Alienware has an alien. You're alien. right. Oh shit. Why'd there be aliens here, Aaron? Oh, no. Can't choose with this. So messy. Not Flaming hot. Flaming. Is he gonna see something live? Another full moon, huh? Same. Hmm. Yeah, horsey. I saw a flicker over there. They always do those. My dad has a cow call. It's Shabba! <laughs> I'm not kidding. That's exactly what it is. They come fucking running. <laughs> what was it? <laughs> what is uh, that? Like a praying mantis? Oh, okay. Or something? Man, that's scary. <laughs> Jesse would. Force me to move if this happened to her. <laughs> what if it's not? What if they're giant praying menaces? Camera B is down. What? Camera B is down. Camera B is down. Like ancient fucking aliens down. Trust Clover. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Clover knows. He's spooked. Oh! Oh! He's trying to get away. Looking up, Aaron. Yeah, I know. Ah, uh, is it being abducted? It's metal. Oh shit! Just a fucking twister. What the hell? You should just taking the horse. Wow. Wow, is it the cloud? It must be. It's in the clouds. Just like everything else. It's in the cloud. It's in the cloud. I love OJ, he's so funny. Wow. What the fuck? No, no, no. Run, OJ! Run! Yeah, go! It's mad that that horse was fake. Tried to shove something up its ass, it didn't work. Ooh. Uh. Huh? Cool. It's like instead of water, but it's in the clouds. Yeah. You know, like you see the darkness moving in the water. Yeah. Mm. Whoa. Whoa. Run, Clover, run. 
It's so silent, too. Hmm. This damn praying mantis is in the damn way. Fuck off. Still on. The camera. Still on. Get the bug off the camera. Get the bug off the camera. Dude, what if, he, what if she gets up there and she clears it off and then she gets abducted? <laughs> like, from the IT department, like, that would be like, what the fuck? I know, you get that footage, though, that's what I'm saying. <laughs> yeah, right? Oh, you fucking right, bitches. Come on, bitch. You like Sarah Patch Kids? Huh? You like Sarah Patch Kids? <laughs> oh, it's really close to OJ. Because you're like looking at the whole thing and like, what am I missing? And then it just, right where you're looking. Yeah. God damn it. That fucking brain man is. Hi, man. I haven't seen one of those in a minute. Fucking brain man. Just that well, I'm going to pray I don't have to see him because fuck dude. You better pray I never see him. I'm going to eat him. Where? Would you stay or leave? Someone's got to care for my horses. I can't just leave. Yeah, are you gonna take care of them until they all get eaten? I mean, I don't know. Call the UFO people. I don't need credit. Is that what you need? Are there UFO police that hunt these guys down? Call the feds. I don't know. Oh, yeah, horse girl, sure. I remember you and your brother. Sure. Yeah, horse boy. He's here, too. The descendants of the Chucky. Yeah. His voice. Yes, I'm talking the motion picture royalty, then. You're like Snake crossed with Mike Armitrop. <laughs> I got it from the call sheet. So we have a project. Solid and, snake. Uh, you make the cinematically impossible possible. Well, we're looking for the impossible shots. Hmm. That's impossible. And it's not the sheriff's cousin from Robin Hood, is it? And you're probably the only person in the world that can get it on right? film. I mean, if it is, it's been many years. I don't know what you look like. When you have a voice that cool, can you like just go to like a drive thru and look normally? Because if I got that like at the drive thru, it's like number one. Yeah, I'd be like, you should. Fuck, who are you? Yeah, just go in there and just be like, anyone. Just pretend you're anybody and do it. Who are shit? It's real. Huh? I don't know what you're doing here, but it was illegal for you to spy on us like that. What's he looking at? Uh, is that hit the side of the. Mountain? That cloud is not moving. Huh? What? There's a cloud what? not moving. Look. It doesn't move. Exactly. Huh. That's not normal. Look at that. Normally. I mean, I need to go to like talk to a like someone that knows they're talking about first before I know it's not normal. We have proof of aliens on video. Yeah. Uh, you have proof. you have proof of a cloud staying in one spot. Look, I've seen crazy weather phenomena online before. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. He's right. Mm -hmm. It's good, but it ain't it. Ain't Oprah. It ain't Oprah. It ain't Oprah. Oh, that's so brilliant. Are you guys telling me that there's an alien spaceship? What if it's not a ship? Like it's alive or what? Like it's a hunter? Like it's eating? Gordy! Gordy, Eric. The ape. Uh, oh. we're gonna see it? This could be... And of course, I said it to Icelandic time because we share a love of the Aurora Borealis Gorge. They didn't train him for this. And the loud noises. Well, there was. Yeah, the oh, hopping. Yeah, the popping. It was like. And then, like, the one girl died, right? At least. 1998. Melanie doesn't like popping balloons, too, right? Mm hmm. Did she get like that, or? I mean, not typically that bad. Not typically, huh? <laughs> I mean, wild animals, they, they just respond. It's not, like, you don't want to ascribe, like, evil intentions to them. Just don't move. <laughs> Is it eating her? 
Who's this? It's the dad. Jesus. And then he looks right at us from the first Ah, uh, and it was looking at him, wasn't it? Yep. So you can trigger that animal and then it, it doesn't understand, you know? Sure. Sad. I get it. No wonder he talks about the SNL sketch. Uh huh. Jesus, I am exhausted. <laughs> That's yeah. Oh, so scary that when he was walking towards, then he just started signing, calming down. And I was holding my breath the whole scene. <laughs> What if I told you? What? What? Lucky. It says Lucky, Eric. Nope. Now we're not gonna let a few clouds kill our fun today, are we, folks? A few clouds kill our fun? Jupiter's plain star, lasso experience! Oh, dude, I don't want an icy. What is that? Green? Yeah, it's green. What, what green color? color? What, what flavor is that? Oh no! I can get red and blue, but what's green? Apple? Mary Jo Elliott, everyone. Mary Jo yeah. Elliott, she's here. Oh, uh, she got her face ripped off. So it was the little girl. Every Friday for the last six months, my family and I have bore witness to an absolute spectacle. Have they seen the horses being taken? We are being surveilled by an alien species I call the viewers. Hmm. And though they have yet to emerge from their ship, I believe they trust me. Oh, hey. If they didn't, oh. I don't think any of us would be here. Right That's now. where the little mess came from then. So they were just fucking so with him to, said, what, as viral marketing? Just under an hour, Star Lasso Experience is gonna change you. There's no way this is not aliens, right? I don't know. Like, there's first, a, definitely a flying My boy's thing. gonna come out and do a little number for us. Would that be alright? He right? can't fuck. He I can't fake that. that. Oh, Here come the aliens, Eric. Satellites, Colton, Phoenix, Max. Remember those names, folks. Alright, here we go. I don't know. It's... Uh, that ain't part of the show. There well, it is. It is in there there's... early. Like a little bit poking out. There it is. It's putting out cloud. They're ready, we're ready. What? They ain't lying. They've been seeing it too. Welcome. He said it's not. He said it's more like an animal, right? Now sit back. Well, he said what if it's not a ship? It didn't move like a ship. It also, it's like roaring. Cactus. Cactus. That's what the green is. Skyberry and watermelon. Two cactus, though. Oh, right, that guy's got his phone now. Oh no, gather yeah, sweetly. Man. Are people getting picked up? See the shadows? Did it take him? Whoa. Oh my god, I think it's like a it's like a whale mouth. That's what we saw? That was the opening credits, was that right there? Yeah, it might not be a ship, it might be like an animal air. Whoa. Dude, there's <laughs> It's like you're going down an esophagus. Terrifying. Are they being digested? I think so. So, Jupe was like putting on a show with it. I think it was gonna be.
fake or something. But, like, he said, like, oh, it's a little early. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. I don't, yeah. Was or, he... similar to the Gordy thing, maybe he knows what it is. Yeah. And he was trying to work it into a show like a creature, and he can't control it. Motherfucker, you saw what happened last time. Like, if it's actually, like, eating some digesting things, and it's not a ship. Like, it's not, there's not a pilot. It's like an, is it like an animal? Yeah, Lucky's still there. Thank God. Yeah, you're lucky. Yeah, what if it's like, what if it just was supposed to be like Gordy, it's supposed to do a trick or whatever, and it didn't do what he thought it was going to do, and it ate everyone? Including him, his wife, his kids, his first crush and co-star. Man, it can just pop out of clouds anywhere, because like, I know, the way clouds, <laughs> like they're layered and stuff, you know, like they could be, in, it could just, it's going to be right over there. No, over there. Over there. Over there. Over there. Over there. Oh, well, over it's there. not going to be where I'm pointing anymore. There. <laughs> you went like this. <laughs> Man, it looks like a ship, though. Do you think the screaming we heard earlier was people? Yeah, maybe it, like, it? poops out the metal. Maybe it was, like, like, cat hair, you know, or something. Dude, it's like a shark, man. It's looking for dinner. Oh! That's exactly what he said it looked like. Two school buses. Yeah, he's seen it before. It was like a vacuum. I don't think it's a ship, though. I think it's like a stingray? Uh. Was, yeah, no, it's like an orifice. What a cool concept. I mean, also... Uh, it is a butthole that comes and gets you. It's an animal. It's terrible. It's a rock. And it thinks that this is I'm sorry I was so excited by that. Uh oh. Uh oh. How do you fight this? What do you do? Uh take a grenade with you. Self sacrifice. Eric, how many grenades you got at home? You can still hear the people inside them. That's so scary. That's terrible. They're just in unending pain, Aaron. Oh my god. It's coming off. Oh. Is it because it's in the cloud? It's because it's right over him. And it's the water's going off the side. Who the hell is that? Who the hell is that? Oh my god. Is it above them? That's so visually pleasing to me. It's got a knife. Oh my god, you can hear them all. Just the hole for his orifice. For the butthole. The orifice. Oh my oh, god. Shit. He can't go any further because of the power. It's 
it's over him now. Well, it's coming over him. Great. Uh, lucky, be quiet. Poor Lucky. Poor Lucky. Poor OJ. Obviously, Lucky's just been in a state of fear <laughs> for so long. OJ doesn't... That's kind of brilliant. He doesn't get bothered visibly. He's so good with animals, you know? That makes a lot of sense now. And maybe this thing doesn't get spooked by him as much. I have so much tension. It's right above him, and he's getting out. Oh, that's fucking, he's getting out of me. Get the tension out. <sighs> lightning. Get some lightning in here. Uh, it's like a pupil with an iris <laughs> around it. Nope. <laughs> mm. I love, I love OJ. <laughs> it's like whenever Gordy fist bumped. Like... I don't think it understands that it's brutally killing people. Maybe. And I think it might like OJ. You recognize it's an animal, OJ. You think it's trying to communicate with him? <laughs> oh, it's a statue. What is that? Covered in blood. <laughs> That's the best thing you could have done. Lock the door. <laughs> I'm sorry. That tickled me so much. Every animal got rules, right? We know what it wants, and we know how it comes. So. I love that line. Every animal has rules. That's good. Sure. We have rules too that we impose on other animals. That's not, that's not how it works. Gotta feed him. They're lucky, yeah. Yeah, he's gotta go back and take care of his horses. They <laughs> shit to do. Always. No that is so my dad. <laughs> Thank God we That is so my dad. I, I, I've never endeared myself more to a character. Thank God leave. I'm like, fuck it. <laughs> horses figure something out. Oh my god, that's so real to me. <laughs> you know I me mean? like fucking just aliens show up above. Your dad just got horses to feed. I'm not joking. That's exactly what he Eric, would do. Eric, the cows got out. Get over here. Like, yeah, there's aliens in, in the sky. Yeah. Look at this house. Just. That's like a, some kind of Amityville horror kind of bullshit. Yeah. Look at the just the circle. Yeah. Yeah. Of where it shot stuff out of its hands. <laughs> Who the hell is that? This is the director of oh, photography, it? right? Uh, antlers? There's a wheelchair on your roof. Hi. Like a cloud. I moved the goddamn it. He noticed immediately. Wow. Oh, you're not completely full of shit. Thank you. Yeah. Or I guess they told him. He's gonna get hungry again. Uh, so you know. Just ring the dinner bell. He ain't rattled. Know what it does. We're not the reason it settled down here. That was Jim. Mm -hmm. He got caught up trying to tame a predator. Yeah, he was you trying to do that. He got ahead of the pretty little one. <coughs> yeah. He was That's trying to control it. This might be the coolest guy that's ever existed. Which one? Just the director of photography. Antlers? Yeah. yeah. Whatever. He's just so chill. He's just like OJ in a way. What do you want? You draw <laughs> That's a good way to have it be like, here it is. I'm here. On this ridge. Oh, shit. Can I have a newer Get camera? Myself. No all right. electricity. Yeah, all right. that way you can actually do it. Come up here with a non-electrical camera? Let's go, boy! <laughs> <laughs> they just put the footage down. People are dead. <laughs> Again. They are Hollywood industry. I, I get it. <laughs> 
But that came in the spirit of you, bro. He's gonna try to. He's gonna try to tame it. I get the shot. I love how I'm like, call the call the fed the feds, and they're like, we can, we can get make money off this. Yeah, important. makes right. sense. They're, they're, they're Hollywood, it. you know. We got him. Uh, I would, of course, I don't tame animals, but it's gonna do some good. I really like the line. Every animal has rules. I think it's great. Yeah, out, sure. like, Every animal has roads. I don't know why I wrote roads. <laughs> roads. This one flies, Eric. <laughs> he was a one eye. One horn, flying, flying purple people eater. eater. One eye, one horn, flying purple people eater. One eye, flying purple people eater. Hey man, you sound just like him. I was doing the song song. Oh, okay. I thought you were doing an impression. Sure looks strange, sure look strange to me. <laughs> Top hat. <laughs> Thimble. Thimble. <laughs> Scorpion, Scorpion King. Scorpion King 2001. Because he's on the crew. He was on the crew for the horses, but they use the camels. I wonder if Jordan Peele asked the rock if that was cool. <laughs> Jean Jacket. Oh, Jean Jacket. you know who Jean Jacket is? I know who Jean Jacket is. I wonder why they named it Jean Jacket. I love the turn this movie has taken. <laughs> Especially after the terrifying hovering over the house and you can hear people screaming. And this is what's happened. Okay, yeah, they have it everywhere, so you can track it. That's so cool. Or distract it so it's moving around a lot. Well, sure. How exquisitely stupid is that? <laughs> do you have to do it at a steady pace? I mean, yeah, to do it faster is more frames, right? More speed. Yeah. Wait, who's this? What's going on? Who's this asshole? Man in black on a white motorcycle. Who the fuck is this? Is it a man in black? You see that cloud? Man, who you with? Oh, I'm sorry. Who are you? Nobody. You don't look like a nobody to me. Yeah, look, we doing a camera test. Well, Verizon commercial, so I'm gonna need you to clear the road. This little valley comes up as blurry on Google Maps. And you're really tucked away back here. Jupiter's claim? Look if you go the other way around. That's such a yeah. cool moment. What did happen with Jim Park and all those people? He was basically your neighbor, right? So what? They vanished? You don't believe the flood narrative, do you? Look, guys. It's TMZ. <laughs> Fuck, guys. TMZ's here? So you gotta come out of nowhere and eat this guy! I love TMZ Chrome Helmet Man. What happens when an electric bike going 60 miles per hour gets an anti-electric field going in the opposite direction? I hope the wheels stay in neutral. Oh! Jeez! I'm never riding an electric bike! That's what happens? What? I mean, I don't know. Why does it just stop? Oh, fuck. There's no way that that guy's alive. <laughs> it's really funny. It's dark, but funny. And you know it's Jordan Peele, so... There's no way that guy's alive. Yeah. Ah! Is that, you think Jordan Peele inside there? No. Well... Maybe it's his voice, I can't tell. Shit job. Look before you take a picture. Ah, just take a picture first. Take a picture first. Make a name for yourself. What is that? Oh I'm shit. Bad, man. Oh my god. Look at him. Let me look at him. I hope he wasn't rolling for that, was he? Damn. You got, you got that? That's, oh, damn it. That's, that's all he that's got. But... What the fuck? Hey, hey. Is everybody okay? For the love of fuck, talk to me, please. Oh, Jake. For the love of fuck, talk to me, please. 
This is an interesting twist on a UFO, man. Are you getting this? Because their eyes are looking up at him. He's got to be getting this, right? Oh, what the hell? Eyes in the back of his head. It looks like you're looking in the opposite Guys. direction. Okay, set it up. He's going to run. You can do this with uh, predators. Oh, did it come out of the ground? No, I don't think so, but it looks like this went right, right on, like, over the hill, you know? Yeah, maybe. It just looked like it had dirt dripping off it or something. Yeah. I think it gets really close. Man, these things all falling down is great. Like, you know it's chasing them. That's an animal? Yes. Look at it. Oh, flags? Uh-huh. He doesn't want flags. Whoa, shit, flags! <laughs> Whoa! Got the shot. Oh my goodness. Lucky, leave this valley. Whoa, they, they got man, the did shot. You see that? They got the shot. Yeah! The light, it's gonna be magic, son. He can get a better shot. The impossible shot. He can get the golden hour. Do it again. That's what he's saying. You mean it? It's gonna be all right, Angel. We don't deserve the impossible. Okay, as long as you leave that camera here. This guy is the most badass man. <sighs> I've ever seen. Oh shit. Dude, he, he can just, he knows where the viewfinder is. You know? He didn't have to look. Like he's one with his camera. Are we gonna get a shot and then the, cam from the camera will drop? Because he knows it will, right? Film reel. Oh shit. Oh no, he's coming here. Oh shit. In the the old post, post, yeah. The Foley artist, this is amazing. Oh, I think he's okay. Oh, jeez. Oh no, where are you going? Whoa. Yeah, look at it over there. What's going on? It looks like unfolded or something. Yeah, like its bones, like are a parachute. Yeah. Skin. I, I know that. I didn't make any sense just now. What the hell? It's been feeding and growing? I don't know. Looks like a jellyfish now. Or it's opening up looking for more. It's beautiful, kind of. <laughs> don't look up. 
like turned itself look inside out. Yeah. Oh, it's turning to look at him now. Whoa. Like that square is usually inside, right? Yeah, I think so. Looking straight on up at it. Whoa. I don't see what he's doing. Communicating? He'll do something about it. He doesn't have any eyes to shoot, Eric. He figured out. Nice long shots and stuff too, yeah, man. Yeah. He's like sets, you know. Flags. Okay, that's why she came here. The big balloon, right? <laughs> it's gonna fuck you up. Is it looking at me? Does it have flags? <laughs> what do you do with it? Man, it's so big. Yeah, it's like sheets in the wind. Lots of coins. I don't know how we use it, but okay. I'm trying I was trying to figure it out, I'm like, okay, we're at this well. What can we do with this well? She's gonna take a picture, right? I mean, I guess. Wow. And it's an old picture. And then we put them together to make a... <laughs> Look at that, yeah. It seems like a giant Polaroid. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, man. It's so big. <laughs> Take you to Oprah. I'm gonna take you to Oprah. I'm gonna take you to Oprah. <laughs> Whoa. It's like a giant butterfly. Yeah, I'd be like, what, you take a picture of Mothra? Right? Look at that thing. It shoves it up in its asshole and flies away. <laughs> Did it blow it popped. up? Popped. The b big balloon popped yeah. inside of it. Is it dead? Might have done some damage. Yes! Fucking people die from yes! those condoms filled with like shit inside of them. Nobody you know? fucks with A1, bitch! Nobody! Damn it! I'm the OJ. Can you imagine seeing something like this? So that's the balloon, but is that, that's just it, just kind of. It's like, it's like a ribbon. It's gotta be light, like material or whatever it's made of, right? Yeah, it flies. <laughs> this, this is one of the coolest frames in a frame I've ever seen. <laughs> Out yonder. Another frame. Look at Mothra there, man. Eating the big boy. <laughs> wow. Has that western feel to it? Music? It does. Have you ever seen a movie like this? I don't know. I think it's a new one for me. I only ever seen a movie. It definitely, like I feel like it hit on some wow. interesting Jesus. topics there. So, yeah, there's a come ride through Jupiter's claim at Universal Studios Hollywood. Only on the world famous studio tour. I've seen it. So, you no. can go do like a, an experience. Man, I ain't going there. Yeah, we went to Universal one No, day. I ain't going to You don't want to go there? You see what happened? It's a little scary. I watched what happened. What a movie, man. It was interesting. It was really interesting. It was very... Uh, I don't know. Like, There's like a single it's, vision. Does that sure. make sense? I yeah. love 
stuff that has single vision. It doesn't feel like it's studios coming in being like, oh, we gotta equip this up. And, yeah. You know? Because, like, from the trailer and stuff, like, they had the looking up, they showed, like, the little, like... Oh, yeah. You know, the, the souvenirs and stuff. Yeah. Like, it felt like, oh, there's an alien thing happening here, but to turn it into, like, it's not just a ship that's up there doing shit. There's, like, a creature, you it's know? An the abduction of cows, if that, you know, in that same sense, like, oh, there's UFOs, they abduct cows, like, it changes the idea that these... This thing, mm-hmm. or these things... Have come to our planet and they abduct cows and they're eating. That's what they're doing. Yeah. That's why they're being abducted. But no, it's interesting. Like usually I try to look because like the last two, like try to look at them too because I feel like like what's his thought? Like what's it? Like usually I feel like there's like a message with it, right? Like us kind of has that like two sides of a person. These people being like pushed down. Like there's yeah. a, there's a weird element to to us with like this other society living underground and stuff yeah. too. You know, and sure. like what they went through and then get out has that where like. Yeah. Even, like, people are being trapped in their own minds and stuff, and they can't get out, but there's, a uh, this one here is just interesting, too. Like, there's a lot yeah. of, like... I get what you mean. It's a lot about, it's, a, you know, then he says, every animal has rules. I mean... Sure. Humanity included, right? Yeah. Like, we... What's the right... What's the word you use to, uh, to turn something and try to, like, put a human look on, to anthropomorphize? How do you say that? Like... Yeah, like the anthropomorphic yeah. kind of thing. Yeah, like, you know, nice. we do that to animals, dogs, cats. Like humanizing them or something? Teddy bears, stuff like that. That's just not, you know, that's not how it works. Like, I feel like a certain little tiny connection to this movie, having been a farm kid and having to deal with animals that are two tons, sure. <laughs> you know, uh, from a very young age. And he's, like, Jordan Peele did his homework. Like, that's what sure. it is. You don't... You don't dominate this animal, and it doesn't dominate you. Yeah. You just you have you fall into a rhythm. Yeah, you work together. Cause like yeah, I mean we eat meat, we eat our cows, but we have two hundred head cattle on that farm. We might slaughter one every year. Sure, you know, you, like we're raising like, them, and you know they're getting fed. <laughs> there's like a respect and an understanding. Like in the beginning when yeah. he's like, well, he needs a break. Yeah, but they're all like. Well, we haven't done anything. She's ready now. Yeah. The actress is ready now. So yeah. tell the horse that you're ready. Yeah. Like there's like a, it's like uh, a give and take. Yeah, but like it's like they're, like no one cares about the animals, right? Like yeah. that's kind of the idea. They're that we props get. to them. Even uh, what's his name? Glenn, the Jupiter guy, right? Yeah. Jupe. Like Jupe. Him who he was on set and saw. Yeah. He saw what this chimp. Yeah. Was doing but right. He didn't learn the and lesson. all that. And then he still is like, I'm gonna take this other animal and yeah. I'm gonna turn it into a show. I mean, and that's probably another side of it too. Is yeah. like, how far will some? How far is someone willing to go to get to be famous yeah. or to get whatever? Right? Like you have you're doing that. You, that one guy on the motorcycle is like, get my camera, and like you're you just I fell know. off, and you, that guy was like, yeah. he's dead for sure, and he's like, get my camera, and the other guy ran off into the yeah. fucking desert just filming. I'm like, what you doing? It's it's great because you have a character like Jupe, and you're like, motherfucker, he did it again. Yeah, Except he got way more people killed, but. It was so brilliant to have him try to explain what happened through an SNL sketch. Sure. It just shows that Jupe, as a child, could not process what happened to him, and he internalized all that trauma and had no idea what to do with it, which is such a relatable thing, right? Sure, yeah. Uh, So he just, you want to be like, motherfucker, you knew this, but that's so true of so many things. I mess up, when I mess up, I've I've done the same thing seven times, (laughs) you know? Yeah. So it's, so it's it's really relatable in that way. I think that's really smart. But to to take these separate things, like, you know, tr- trauma and the way that it affects you and doesn't affect you, animal <laughs> husbandry, and UFOs, and just mix them in this, like, <laughs> concoction of nope. Sure. And yeah. I it makes so much sense. I said before, I'm like, man, OJ is like, is he socially awkward? Is he shy? No. He's chill because he is always in the state of just taming, be, of just animals, taming animals, stuff, right? right? Of working outside his society, his rules. Like sure. humans, we just have rules that we think we apply it. Like, you know, when a mountain lion is in California and killing dogs, people are like, well, don't kill the mountain lion. It doesn't know. It's like, no, we got to take care of this thing. Like, sure. it doesn't care. Yeah. It's just trying to eat, and we have yeah. to be able to protect. We have, we you know, it's us versus them. There's all this, like, tribal mentality 
that we then try to be more inclusive because we're at the top of the food chain. We feel, we feel bad, you know? But then you get something else at the top of the food chain. It doesn't give a shit. Yeah, sure. <laughs> That's really cool. Yeah. That's a cool idea for a monster movie. I, no, I like that. Like, yeah. it's just, it is just an animal. It's doing what it's yeah. doing. There's no rhyme or reason except for it is just a predator, yeah. right? Like, that's yeah. what it's doing. And then it learns. So, like, the flag yes. element is like, oh, I did not like that. I'm yeah. not eating that again. Yeah. Right? Like, that's what it did. Yeah. So, like, there's a lot of elements like that that I really like. But then there's, like, some of the horror aspects. Mm-hmm. I love the screaming that you can just hear. Yeah. Like, it just adds just this tension that it's you're like, it's terrifying. terrifying. Yeah. But then, like, just seeing the blood. Yeah. Like, it being right over top of them and you all the stuff's falling out. Yeah. And you know it's right there. And it's like, is it going to do no, anything? It's, it's so good. It, you know what it reminds me of, honestly? And we're watching Rings of Power right now. It reminds me of the Nazgul from Lord of the Rings. Because... The way the Nazgul, they scream, it's actually one of the writers screaming into a mic. Like one of the women writers, uh, Philippa or Fran. I think it's, her name is Fran. Peter Jackson's wife. Uh, she has this blood-curdling murder scream. So she would just go to the booth and... <sighs> and then in the movies, when the fell beast, the Nazgul and the fell beast come by, you hear that scream and the men on the ground are going... Ah! Because it's terrifying, right? Sure, yeah. It's a supernatural terrifying in that world, but here, it's the real thing. Yeah. People are, not only are they up there, they must be in constant pain to scream that much. Yeah. Because there's a there's a thing animals and we do that when we, like, when your brain realizes it's going to die, it, like, shuts you off and you just, you know, like, unfortunately, you see a lot of predator and prey videos. Mm-hmm. When a prey gets, when prey gets caught, it just, like, it kind of gives up after a while, right? Sure. But there's something about being inside that thing that you can't do that. You're just screaming. Yeah. <laughs> That's so terrifying. Yeah. It's like slowly eating you, and there's like a hole that you, once you fall in, you're Yeah. Oh. It's like a sarlacc that can fly. Did, uh, <laughs> what did, uh, Jupe say whenever he was doing his show? Well, I was just thinking about something. He said that he's created a routine, right? Yeah. Like every Friday at, I don't know, six. Mm-hmm. So that implies, just like with, uh, uh, Gordy, right? Like, Gordy was a trained chimp. Mm-hmm. But especially chimps as they get older and they get more mature and sexually active, they literally can't control themselves. Sure. You know? Well, like, whatever happened with the, with Gordy on this yeah. one was, like, it was... It was something that flipped him out. Yeah. And he freaked out. Mm-hmm. And then, like, whenever the woman who was on the ground started moving, he jumped yeah. back on and tackled, tackled her and hit her yeah. again and stuff. And then the guy came out... And then he starts running and stuff, yeah. too, and then he chases him down. Like, I remember, like, they, like things about dogs and stuff like that, when they yeah. come around, if they start being mean and whatever and growling at you, oh, yeah. you don't turn your back and run. No. You try to you face it, and you try to make yourself big so yeah. that it doesn't want to attack you because you look scary. You need to show that you're not afraid of it. Yeah. It, it can tell if you're afraid, just like this thing can tell if you're looking at it. And I think it's brilliant that he put eyes on the back of his jacket Mm -hmm. so that it's following him thinking that he's looking at it yeah right yeah which is the opposite of what you do for hunting uh like in the african bush and stuff like that tigers cats they can tell if you're looking at them and they get you when you're not right yeah they want you to turn to the point where some animals have evolved markings on the back of their heads that look like eyes Mm -hmm. and that's not you know that's not a design that's just pure mutation over millions of years to the point where, hey, these ones survive somehow because yeah. it looks like they have eyes on them. Butterflies have that a lot. When they open their wings, it looks like something's looking at you, yeah. you know? Yeah, it, it does. Like shit, or know? it looks like a stick or, yeah. you know, like that natural camouflage that evolves. But here, I just love that this guy, he realizes that he has all these little cool tricks on how to track where it is, where the electrical field is. Yeah. You know, utilizing, what do we got? Well, we got a bunch of cars because these people are all dead. <laughs> it's so cool to, like, have this, like, resource management farmer mentality. <laughs> In this character, and I just, especially whenever he had the, uh, uh, what was the line that I was like, that is so my dad. Whenever, like, it's a, it's chaos. There's an alien oh, killing us, and like, he's like, well, I gotta go feed the horses. Yeah. yeah, it's like, Lucky needs out. Dude, I, that spoke to my soul. I can't tell you how many times, like, you know, like, my dad, you know, <laughs> like, we've got just a terrible shit. He's like, well, I gotta go. We gotta go feed the horses or the cows. And I'm like, I get it. You have to. But there's some times where I'm like, they'll be fine. They got grass. There's a tornado going. Yeah. I gotta go feed them. But I mean, there's that. There's, you know, like, my dad doesn't go on vacations. You know, well, so I'm gonna feed the, the cows. You know, he he would, you know, leave church early when we were kids. <laughs> you know, it would be Christmas and we'd be opening shit. And he's 
I gotta go, you know? I just, something about that that was so familiar and, uh, like, as a, as a family just, thing. It just hits you because like, it's like something yeah. you've lived yeah. with and you're like, I understand that I, I, I don't think I've ever, like, related to a character harder than him then going there. And Otis, to be fair, I don't, I don't feel that way. Sure. But because it was something that I've seen in my dad, I was just like, holy shit, what a real person. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. Yeah. So the thing yeah. I was thinking about here, I wanted to see what he said in his speech yeah, here. Yeah, sure. Um, because we're still catching up what was exactly the context of everything. Yeah. But I want to know when the first night was. Yeah, he says, because, take it back to the first night. Because there was a six-month gap, right? Yeah. There was some kind of six-month gap that occurred um, between Keith David's death. Oh, man, I thought he said it some other time, too. But my thought was that, yeah, there it is. Every Friday for the last six months. Yeah. So the first instance must have revolved around Jew. It came down, got that. Those Flew around. The, shot the coins out above the place, killing Otis Sr. Yeah. Right? And yeah. then over the next six months, he kept feeding it. Jupe bought ten horses from yeah. Otis Jr. And he realized, I gotta go get lucky. Yeah. yeah. And I never, I didn't even wow. think about that yeah. during that time frame. But then wow. like when I was sitting here, I was like, wait a minute. He said about yeah. his whole story and stuff. When did that start? So he's, he's been trying this for a while. He's buying his shit. Yeah, he's buying his horses to go feed this thing. Sukasa, Mike Mikasa. <laughs> he's buying your shit. Like yeah. that's a really funny thing to put in there because I, if you hadn't said anything, I wouldn't even notice. Yeah, I was like, Sukasa, <laughs> that it was messed up. Sukasa's Mika. That's not right. It's my house is your house, not your house is my house. That's so clever, man. So, oh man, no, I don't know. It just it's interesting having this this story play out and like, I, I know Jordan Peele looks at it he has a vision he has his art he has his story stuff so like trying to think of like the the way the story unfolds when yeah. you're not realizing what you're missing oh, things yeah. you know and so many little things are are going to be scattered around it and, and it has his crazy. humor like it is hel- like objectively oh. hilarious yeah when that guy's like is he, is he dead oh, ah! he's definitely dead ah! No, so I love that. The fucking little kids. I love being punch a little kid. I like yeah. I love OJ like just leaving scenes being like, fuck off. You know? Like, oh fuck, fuck this, fuck off. Fuck off. There's just something so uh real about his reactions, right? Like I think a lesser actor would be bigger and and uh like want to show emotion. But I think it takes real restraint. Like Mike Ermintrout, and we talked about we have two characters like this in this movie. Mm-hmm. Where they're like I f- it, it feels almost more authentic to have a, an inauthentic reaction in terms of acting. I'm not saying it's inauthentic. To have a subdued, quiet character in a horror movie. Sure. Does that make sense? I get what you mean. Usually you have, they call them scream queens. Yeah. Or you have dumb jocks or teenagers fucking. You know, like sure. something that's like immediately relatable. More like, like here, uh, Emerald. Like, Emerald yeah. is a little bit more like, a she's like, bit. we gotta get the hell out of here. Yeah. He's like, I gotta feed horses. Yeah, you but, know? And he's just chill. Yeah, there's just one, <laughs> I just know that's a real person because I, I was raised by one, but two, yeah. like, there's just something cool about having that in a horror movie. Like, he's sitting there in that truck just waiting. Yeah. And he's not really like freaking out, you know, and then he just opens a door, he looks up, nope. <laughs> yeah. Nope. Yeah. Nope. Like, he didn't like, yeah. oh god, he just, nope. And, and then, then, yeah, bam, that bam. whole sequence was 18 minutes of terror and tension. And he locks the door. <laughs> he locks the door. I better lock this door. But that's that's like Jordan Peele's like a little bit of comedy. Yeah. But then like there's still some good little horror aspects in this. And stuff if you too. understand comedy, you understand so many emotions, right? Like because it's all coming from the same place, which is just our monkey brains trying to make sense of random inputs and societal things that we kind of built over thousands of years. So. When you have comedy and you know how to wield it so well, I, I imagine it's just a half step to horror, a half step to to frustration, a half yeah. step to grief. Romance. Romance, you know, exactly. All that stuff. And my frustration of Keith De- David only appearing in like two scenes. <laughs> yeah, I know. I loved him. I know. But again, like, I, I think you cast a guy like that to show not, like, I feel like I was missing something by not seeing him more. And I think that's exactly the point. Like, this business, uh, Clayton, uh, no, I'm the, sorry. The Hay- Haywood Hollywood, Haywood. right? Like, obviously, they're missing him too. They're missing that dad because he's, you know, we know Keith. You know, he's very charismatic, mm-hmm. very in control, showman. You know, he was probably the ultimate cowboy. You know, when he would come on the set, even the guy in the beginning was like, "Where's 
Where's the older guy? Yeah. You well, know? and the script he had was his yeah. script. We heard him saying that same thing, yeah. you know, and then the daughter jumps in and says, yeah. and even when she wasn't there, Otis yeah. attempted to go through it, you know, but he doesn't have the charisma. I think he can train animals great, yeah. but he doesn't have the charisma of the people, you know? He's not shackled by human rules, right? Sure. He has all these other rules in his head, and maybe he kind of sees the other, like, well, it's not real, who cares? You know, there's real things in here, and that's mm-hmm. and that's the danger that he's always having to get people out of the way. Like when people just kept going behind that horse. I mean, we watch shows all the time, and we're like, "Oh, get away from the horse!" You know, because I've seen, I, I know Last people. Samurai. I knew people that got kicked in the chest, you know, and never breathed the same because they got kicked by a horse. Man. So it's so relatable, this guy. <laughs> That samurai taking in the dick and just yeah. standing through it. You know, there's uh, there's elements of Get Out and Us that I really enjoy those movies. But there are elements that when I watch it, I go, man, I wonder how I would feel differently if I were the same race of these characters, right? Sure. Or, you know, is that the audience it's made for? I mean, yes, I can enjoy it too. But Does I think it, hit it, differently it, it, it hits differently if I didn't grow up where I grew up. So I really. wonder if this, just by nature of it being like a farmer character, hit differently for me. Like, <laughs> Did city people get hit with it as, as well <laughs> yeah. as country folk? And yeah, whatnot? no, I, I don't, I don't know. know. That's interesting, though. I mean, having the alien aspect, I yeah. think, can hit a lot of people. Because oh, you're yeah. just like, oh, man, with the unknown and what's unknown. up there. And, mm-hmm. you know, being afraid of, like, they're, you know, they're coming to contact us. They're coming to destroy our world. Like, yeah. what, what are they here for? Yeah. Why are they here? And this thing's just eating people. It's just an animal. Going inside of it was crazy. It's I was hoping we would see... Uh, antlers is like camera because I thought I think we both did we thought like oh he's going to go up he's going to film it the camera's going to come out we get to right. see what's inside it but we didn't really get any of that you know he just kind of died and that was one of the things I thought was really interesting too is like especially in today's society of like social media mm-hmm. and viral videos yeah. it's like how do you get the money shot how yeah. do I get famous how do I sure. get the thing that is going to make my name known to more people you know absolutely and, and so many times like Emerald, her whole thing. Like, she tossed out her, oh, I'm an actor, I'm a singer, I make good good old cheese sandwiches, you mm-hmm. know? Like, she's trying to get herself out there to she this is. famous director or whatever, you know? And same thing with the TM, TMZ guy and yeah. stuff. And it's just yeah, like, I, love, I love the little detail that she's putting on a performance for yeah. the people at the, at the set. Mm-hmm. So much so that she's copying her dad's lines yeah. and gets the great great grandfather wrong yeah right because that was his great grandfather yours is a great 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 grandfather mm-hmm. really cool little detail yeah. so now the rhythm's a little different yeah it's right? a little and different she didn't fix it so yeah it's just but no you're right like yeah, she's that character it's interesting having that kind of like besides the alien aspect and the horror aspect mm-hmm. there's also the idea of like how far is someone willing to go to either a yeah. be famous or like not learn from their mistakes or, like, exploit an animal, you yeah. know? Like, is that what Jupe is trying to do here? Is like, sure. I know there's this creature here, and I'm going to get as much money as I can from this, regardless of the safety yeah. or anything else. You I know? get what you like, mean. It's like an exploitation of nature. like Kind of, yeah. Like, uh, like, even the director was like, all these different animals are killing each other and stuff, you know? Yeah, like, he's obsessed with capturing the moment, and, you know, he has a certain level of... I don't know. The actor's so cool, but like, sure. there's probably a certain level of ego where like he only he only does the shit he wants to do. Yeah, right. Well, he said he he he's one of the yeah. ones that does. I do one for them. Yeah. I do one for, for me. me. Which yeah. I've heard a lot of people like. I'll do the I'll do a Marvel movie. I don't really want to do. And then you want to do your so I can do yeah. my more like independent yeah. artsy one that I. But really it's even want, you know? it's really cool too. Like you kind of nailed it. Like the theme of. Uh, you know the alien hunting community that we, you know that yeah. exists on the internet, yeah. and there's all or these ghost kind of, hunting or yeah. that kind of stuff. But there's also that idea, like as technology, like as we have amazing cameras in our pocket all the time, you would imagine if this stuff were real get or more incredible, more you it would it would have increased exponentially, mm-hmm. but it didn't. It actually has gone down because people who are doing visual effects and stuff like that to try to fake these things, like well. The public consciousness of visual effects is way higher now, too. So they can spot when you're fucking with them. So that kind of stuff actually goes down, which, in my opinion, is like evidence of absence as opposed to, you know, an sure, absence yeah. of evidence. But it's cool to put that in here because then that's the most human response. <gasps> What's that? You know? Yeah. yeah. That's, the hum- that's the that's a, the 2022 response. Yeah. So but if it really powers cool. down, Eric, it makes sense why you can't. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? Sure, I get you. I love that techie guy in there. He's like, well, you see, phones don't do that. Yeah. And he's like, well. But I just mean the the attitude of, you know, I was like, oh, my God, call Fox Motor from X-Files. Yeah, yeah. But they're like, no. 
It could go viral. Yeah, we could get money from this. We could we get could money. Be rich. We, yeah, exactly. Dude, I had a. I was sitting on my back deck, um, and it was fairly starry out. Yeah. And I was like looking up, and at one point, like I saw like this bright white light that looked like it got brighter and mm. then got less bright. And I thought it was just a star at first, and I was like, man, that was weird. Did a star just have like a flare? And yeah. I just happened to see it. Sure. And then I thought I saw like a speckle of red in it. Hmm. And it was. And I was like, okay, maybe that's not a star. Maybe it's like a plane. Maybe something burning in the atmosphere. But why is it not moving? Oh. And then like I, all I can think of is that I saw I saw another one over here. I saw yeah. so it was here and here. And I'm like maybe they're like drones. Sure. Just floating in the air because it looked like they had just a slight bit of movement, huh. but not a lot of movement. Okay. But on the way home that night above Davola, I had seen a drone just yeah. up above Davola, just chilling there. Yeah. So I'm like. Are there two drones just sitting above my house? <laughs> like, what is going on? <laughs> I'm like, are there aliens up here? What? I, I was confused. I didn't oh, remember yeah. what it was. I, I it was remember. A, it was a weird uh, moment. I tried heist? to take a picture, but it was too dark for me to get anything. So I was like, gotcha. I, don't know. I remember. I think it was like in high school or maybe a couple years after there being this big thing in the newspaper, like multiple UFOs sighted in the area. Uh-huh. And then people were like, well, there was the lantern, uh, like air lanterns all and being Belbury lights, being let off. off. So people all from around like, ah, freaking out. Dude, we were out <laughs> at a fire at my house. Yeah. It was me, Melanie, and I think two friends, whatever. And we were just chilling and stuff, mm-hmm. talking, hanging out. I think we'd roast some marshmallows, whatever. Sure. And then, like, in the sky was, like, this bright, like, orange red mm. just whoosh. Yeah. And we're... I was waiting because how low it was and where the trajectory of it looked. Yeah. I was waiting to hear like a boom or an explosion, sure. like it hit the ground. And I never heard of anything about it. And we were all like, it happened so fast that we couldn't get out our phones and be like, taking sure, yeah. Like, what the hell was that? Like, did we see a falling star? Was a plane crashing? Like, what was that thing that was just? It was crazy. Yeah. It was but, a uh, UAP. Uh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. A UAP. I don't unidentified. Aerial phenomenon, I think, is what they are now. Not to be and there, yeah. I, I love the little conversation about like all the declassified stuff because I, I love that footage. Yeah, I, I think they call it the pill, which is the uh, them uh, the Air Force, or the Navy chasing. I down think it was something. the Navy's like yeah. uh, pilots yeah. and stuff. There's like the black speck one, and then there's like a white speck one. And uh, you don't I really know see much. They're kind of no shitty. It's <laughs> it's not the visuals that you're seeing. It's, it's more the, the audio, right? It's the response of people that know what they're looking yeah. at, or I'm sorry, but that don't know what they're. But looking they should, at. right? They should. Know. Like what yeah. the fuck is that? Yeah. <laughs> like uh, we both watch uh, Corridor Crew, great mm-hmm. YouTube channel. Uh, they have a really cool segment. Uh, where they like watch videos that are like of ghosts or UFOs, and they can, oh really? And they say they say like one. okay, this one, uh, we know visual effects. Here's why this is a visual effect. It's either lazily done or it's well done. But they they they're they're experts. They sure. can look at it and tell. Yeah. You know. Uh, <clears throat> but then they also have like clips for like okay, we don't know. Like this this is, confuses us. This is interesting. So they have like a. This one, not credible. This one, maybe. Sure. Who knows? Those are the fun oh, ones. Yeah, and those are the fun ones. And those are the ones where you can be like, look, we're not saying it is aliens or it is ghosts, just that we don't have an explanation. And we, we, need, to, we need to normalize saying I don't know and being sure. okay with it. There's but a I, difference between like, I can explain these yeah. and I can't explain these so yeah. these are real. Yeah, because right? you had Angel in here and he's like, look, we got evidence of, and you want to say, a UFO, which that's all you got. Yeah. Like, he created an alien civilization and, and gave it intent. He gave it human emotion and intent, because those are his rules. But it's not. It's, a, it's an animal. So when he sees it, he fills in all this junk that he needs to try to be more skeptical, right? Yeah. I, I think there's a lot of cool layers to this movie yeah, that I think anybody, a lot of people can relate to. It's really, really fun. Yeah. It might be different on, like, a second watch as oh, well. Oh, definitely. Just seeing, yeah. like, some of the things that he was, like pinpointing and talking about or yeah. you know maybe antlers and be like, oh that's yeah. what all those animal videos are about you sure. know like maybe there was a hint one was an octopus an octopus is like kind of a big thing with a big yeah. beak that it eats stuff with you yeah. know like maybe that was supposed to be like this is kind of like that octopus or yeah. something I don't know and I love that it even challenged the audience at the end where it's like okay I think I got it it's a spaceship but an animal but then it's like you don't you think you got it, but you don't understand at all because sure. it goes like. Bleh. It turned into like a jellyfish, yeah. butterfly. It was like a biblical angel in yeah. the sky, you know. And then it was like 
was it trying to communicate with its little yeah. square thing, or was know. it like, was that like an extra, like some animals like, I don't know, at least in, in some movies, I, mean, I, I can't even animal right now that does it, but like they'll have their senses, but then like they can kind of open up and like see more or something like that, you know? Okay, like is yeah. this like a thing where like it will look, but like when it's really not sure, it does yeah. this, and now it can see even more. Yeah. Like if you think of the predator, like if it has like certain vision but like if I take off my mask True. now it has this specific yeah. vision now I see this way or something you know but like but, in all of those examples you kind of have to try to filter that and understand it as a as a person mm-hmm. whereas like we see this green square and we're going okay it's trying to communicate or it's doing this we're trying to like give it a reason but I think the point is you have no idea yeah. so why are you even attempting like look down <laughs> you yeah. know like if you want to like, live is it stay in your lane <laughs> yeah right like, you don't know. It could be communicating. It could be trying to scare you so yeah. you start running so that now it knows where you are. It could be a mating are, ritual. And it's chasing you. It wants yeah. to fuck that balloon. Yeah, maybe. You know? Or maybe know. it doesn't fuck. Maybe not. Yeah, Maybe it's two aliens. Two aliens. It was kind of like sheets in the wind at the end, wasn't it? It was. It was very like... And yeah. I think, too, like, as light as it must be to be able to fly, however yeah. this animal works, right? When it ex- when the thing exploded inside of it, it must have really fucked with it. Yeah. And then I think it just started, kind of started floating in the atmosphere away because it would it's like sheets. Yeah, it's like in yeah. the wind, it's up there in the clouds. And what I, what I liked about that is it didn't take much to like kill, kill it. it because the fear of the unknown is greater than like the sum of that of its parts is greater than what it actually is, right? Sure. You are fucking terrified. This thing is you know, cuz you look up in the sky and you're seeing this I don't know, like deity. But really, a fucking balloon popped and it died. Yeah. Like, like it, we, we didn't have one guy try to shoot it with a shotgun. Sure. <laughs> you know? Like, if it was... It turns out it's just fucking sheets. If it was here and we just started shooting it, would it have yeah. just fallen But it's the what? power of the unknown that has something over us, right? Like, it's the reason all kids grow up fearing the dark and, and teeth and eyes, because we have it in us to be afraid of what we don't know and what sure. we can't see. So even that is, like, this cool little theme of, like, it's so terrifying... But turns out, I can just punch this little kid. <laughs> yeah. You know, that's Dude. kind of like what that scene's oh. about. Yeah, that. I mean, I guess you're right. Yeah. yeah, like if you take that as like hit their interaction with the big alien. Yeah, it didn't take much to actually kill it. Yeah, as it did to like it didn't take much to actually stop these little aliens that were just yeah. kids. It's not terrifying when you realize what's happening. Yeah, though just I did like, love the morphing. Yeah, and, me too. and that part when it just kind of like you're like, what's happening? Like, yeah. look at it, it's moving. I what? Know. And then it just starts. No, that was great. And staring. Those kids were fantastic, and obviously they're. I mean, you know, they're from like a like an theatrical entertainment thing. Entertainment thing yeah. so it makes a lot of sense. I really enjoyed this movie. I it was greatly. Fun. Yeah, I do too. And I'm sure there's tons of things that we haven't talked yeah. about that we've missed or whatever too. But yeah. I think there's lots of fun like art like aspect to this yeah. too of like what was Jordan Peele saying. Yeah. So. As much as I laughed at uh, Tucker and Dale, I was impressed with this. Yeah. Yeah. No. What are we gonna watch next? Damn. There's a lot <sighs> well, to live up to. Those gonna, two movies. It's gonna be based on the poll next time. So. Ah, uh, yeah. You should be patreoncom Finally, where you can vote on polls. This movie was voted. Mm. So. Actually, the next one, I guess, was a pick, which is supposed to be Halloween Kills. Halloween Kills? Mm. Hmm. Have you seen those movies? I haven't seen Halloween Kills. Mm. It's the newest one, but there's another one coming out, but I haven't seen this one yet. Gotcha. I haven't seen any of those. <sighs> I'm excited for it. Not one. Nope. <laughs> nope. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, thank you very much for watching Nope with us. Please go down in the comments. What was your favorite part of the movie? Uh, what did you relate with? What like little details were you like, oh, man, I didn't even think about that? Mm. Uh, let us know. And uh, please like the video as well. Have a great, great Halloween.